What's up guys, it's Ninja here and today we're doing guild wars. So on the first one I drop all my snipers outside the base, I drop some guardians and I wait for them to do their job. Uh, I dropped my Ares and my warlock up because there were more buildings there and then I wait for the right moment to drop my SK which was now. And most of his heroes are dead so I need just a couple of good hits from SK and uh, Ares. Only his Ghulam and SK are alive and now they're dead. The Ghulam is now dead and he had two really really strong totems, the one with the AC and the Greenfeed. If you drop SK down, he's going to be destroyed by the Greenfeed totem. So for the next one, I drop everyone except Ares and I drop then Skonite up. And I wait for him to get into the base and the Valentina totem to proc and then I drop my Ares that way the Skull Knight can tank a little bit more and his heroes are going to proc and kill my snipers or my SK and before it was started everything is over I didn't even need to drop my Trentar to revive anybody so this was pretty easy base for the next one I drop everyone except my Ares, again I'm waiting for SK to get into the base and then I drop my Ares to not allow the enemy heroes to proc, he had an Ares totem but that didn't, didn't affect me so much and my SK is still alive, he has only his Dread Drake and his, his Ghulam and his Lat. Then my Ares gets into the base and he gets killed but my Skull Knight engages all the other heroes arrive, I drop my Trentar to revive my Ares and everyone who was dead and only this Vlad was left and he's now dead and everything again is just finished for now. So for the next base, again we can see the new hero Dracax, double already double evolved. Here I drop everybody and SK again, but this time I drop him on the corner. That's because when he gets into the base, only four or five or three heroes are going to get engaged, and they're going to attack the SK. And I found that around four heroes is the best the best number for the Karot to work properly and to take advantage of it. My SK dies but only his Dracax and Vlad are alive, my Ares was dead, that's why I dropped my Trentar, but my SK is going to kill the Vlad before my Ares is even alive, this Valentino totem is absolutely useless and late and we are finish with the base. Ares totem again useless and late. So for the last one this was the hardest one of them all. So this one I drop my SK first. That way he gets into the base and tanks for me. Then again I drop my Ares wait for him to until my SK is in the base so my Ares will proc on the heroes and not allow him to proc and kill my SK. But now my SK revived but he couldn't proc so he died again, 4 of his heroes are alive but they are on so little health, I drop my Trentar, he revives everybody, my SK kills everybody else alive under my Ares proc and again everything else is just a cleanup. So these were my guild wars runes for today, um, I have 2664 points. So. That was all from this video and I'll see you in the next one.